everybody. We are here to unbox the Ganker X Fighting Robot from GGS Robot. This toy is very special actually because it has a controller that you strap onto your waist and it acts as like kind of like a mini mech suit so you control the robot with this controller on your waist. So it's really cool. We're going to crack it open and take a look. So let's just start opening it up. So this is the package from GGS Robot that we received from China. The company is based out of China. And this is their third generation robot. All right, so let's crack this open. It comes with this fancy uh, air-filled padding. And here is the box, all right? So let's see, Ganker X, battle for the future, the battle robot. And then on top it says, made for Mecha Dreamers. How cool is that? All right, so we're in the box. We're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna take the robot out. And we're gonna play with it. Let's open this guy. So GJS Robots has been around. They, they uh, were founded in 2015 by uh, the founder Zhao Junjiang. And this is their third generation robot. Uh, here are some instructions. And some little uh, information, disclaimer about, about the battle bot. And let's see what's in this box. So let's see, in this box, this has all the armor for the robot, okay? So there's tons of armor that you can put on this guy. We got a second robot, and I put the armor on it yesterday, and it took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half or so. It's not that easy to put on the armor. Um, all the pieces are kind of delicate, and there's a number associated with each piece. So you look for, you say, good, this is A2, and then you grab A2 and you put the pieces together. There's a ton of armor on this thing, so putting the armor on it is, is a feat in itself to build this thing, all right? I'm gonna put it back in the box for now and set this aside. Okay, now let's take a look at the robot itself. This is very exciting. All right, so this is the controller, the joystick controller. Now, the joystick controller is special. It connects via Bluetooth to the robot. Now, the controller is very fragile, so you gotta be kinda careful pulling it out of the box here. And here it is. So, you get a good shot of that. These are the arms of the controller. Now, think of these as an extension of the robot, okay? Um, the arms move and the robot moves the same direction. When you go like this, the robot turns. It also has forward and backward motion, which makes the robot roll forward, roll, roll backward, left and right, the same. And on the bottom is the suction cup. So you could put the controller on the table and then it suctions to the table, which is cool. And there's a little button on the side that allows you to release the suction. Also in this box is this little thing. This is really just a function to connect to the controller. Do this, like that. And then it has this belt that you wrap around your waist. So you're wearing this controller like a mini mech suit. It's, it's really cool. Um, I haven't seen a toy like this before and my kids were freaking out about it. So there's the controller. Now let's get to the robot, which everyone is dying to see, I'm sure. Now the robot is pretty heavy duty. Uh, here is the GJS Ganker X robot. There's more instructions about the Ganker, the user guide, quick building guide. A Lego building kit, in case you want to build some Legos. Now my kids built all kinds of Lego weapons for the robot over the weekend. So he comes with a couple with a with a sword and a shield, but they were building Lego guns and Lego knives and all kinds of swords for him over the weekend. So he'll hold on to anything that you put in his hand, really, if if it's the right size for his hand. Okay, so now we're inside the box. Alright? And this is the base of the robot, okay? This is the power button, um, this is the front, this is the back, and underneath is where the battery goes. All right, and I'm just gonna put that right there, move this box this side. And now here are the arms for the robot. All right, so the arms, this is the front of the robot, and it just clips into this little, this little mechanism here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clip it on there. Boom! Now the robot is pretty much assembled. He's missing the head, which you have to assemble 
with all those pieces of armor that I took out of the box earlier. Um, inside the box is also a USB charger. And where is the battery? Oh, here are the hands. These are the hands for the robot. And I'll go ahead and put the hands on real quick. They just kind of slide in the arm like so. Slide in. Boom. That's one hand. And the other hand. Boom. Slides in like that. So now he's got hands, but he can't grip anything. I mean, he can just hold things in these little holes that he has, but he doesn't have fingers where he's going to grip anything. Now also inside the box, there is a battery. So the battery has a little USB port on it, so you can plug it directly into USB and charge the battery, and a little red light will show up when it's charging. Um, the battery life on this thing is, I want to say it's like 30 to 45 minutes. My kids and I, we played with it on the weekend. We played with it for like a good 30, 45 minutes, and it, the battery never died. So I, I have a feeling the battery can go longer than that, um, but I did not test it till the battery completely died. So on the bottom of the thing, you just slide the battery in, and then lock it into place. And now the robot's gonna turn on, okay? And we'll see, oh, one more thing I forgot. You have to plug in this, these uh, cables on the back of his little backpack here. This cable with the arms connects there. And then you just plug it in. Boom, it's plugged in, okay. Now we're gonna start the robot for the first time and see what happens. So on the back of the robot is this button you just press and hold the button for five seconds, and then he should just come to life. So let's do it. Holding the button. There he is. And now he should go into fighting position. Boom! Fighting position. Okay, so now you can see he doesn't have a head right now. I did build the head. Um, so I'm just going to take the head from the other robot and put it on him. And this is basically the robot here. So now I'm going to connect the controller, and the way to connect the controller is on the bottom of the robot is a button that says WPS, and you push and hold that button. At the same time, there's a button on the controller that says WPS, and you push and hold this button on the controller. You hold them both together at the same time, and it should connect. So I'm going to turn on the robot. He's ready to go. I'm going to turn on the controller. Now I'm gonna hold the button on the robot and hold the button on the controller. Now it looks like he's about to connect. He's blinking, he's thinking. Oh, they're both in connect mode. When these lights are blinking green, it means that it's in connect mode and he's in connect mode. But it doesn't always find the connection right away. There it goes. All right, so now the robot is connected. Whoop. And when you hear that noise, he's like, his motors are, are working hard. Ooh, okay. So now let me spin him around. I don't know why he's facing this direction. He wants to face the direction that you're in, always. So now all those, all those noises you're hearing are the robot, his gears are like grinding because he's trying to like find his position, right? This controller. It straps on like a belt. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put this thing on in a graceful way. Okay, now I have my mini mech suit on, right? And I can control him however I want. So let me face the camera. So my kids had a blast just like dancing with him in the window. So let me demonstrate how the mini mech suit works. Um, it just straps on really simply. Now the, this is the right arm, clearly. You could do any number of movements with that. And then the left arm, the same. And then if I push the controller forward, he's going to go forward. If I go backward, he's going to roll backward. If I go sideways, he's going to go sideways. If I go left, he's going to go left. Right? And that's basically all the movements. And then if I actually like turn my whole body, he's gonna, he's gonna follow what I'm doing. So watch, I'm gonna go like this. And he follows whatever position I'm facing. 
Like I said, this is the third generation Ganker X fighting robot. The first generation was the Ganker BattleBot, and that came out, I think, in 2017. And then um, last year they released the Geo Gaming Bot, which was kind of more like a like a drone sort of robot where you can control the robot through a phone app. It has a bunch of little mini games inside where you're like shooting targets. And the uh, the Geo Bot actually has like a like a tank kind of like a turret gun on it, and it has really cool sound effects. Now on the robot itself, he has all these sensors on him. So when you're actually in a battle with somebody this sensor right here if you're in a battle with someone and they hit the sensor see I'm feeling it right now it's, it's vibrating as I get hit so here's a sensor here here's a sensor on his arm when you get struck by the other robot it's a point system and you you're gonna lose points or you're gonna take damage in the game with your competitor so it's kind of a cool way uh, to gamify this robot um, you know he has a sword and a shield and you guys are literally like fighting each other, you're boxing each other. There's also a Bluetooth app that goes with the robot and it allows you to see how much damage you're taking and like what your score is in the battle. It's not really used to control the robot, it's more used to just see how much damage he's taken, how many hits he's taken, and how much energy you have left in the battle. Right now this is for sale on Amazon, it's $4.99 as well as the other two robots they have. Now one thing I do want to talk about is the controller, the controller is very delicate. So inside the controller are these really thin ribbon cables that allow it to know where the arm is moving, where it's turning. And there's also some like plastic hardware inside so that it knows like which axis is turning. Um, you know, so it is kind of fragile. And I have to, I have to admit that my son he was dancing with it, he was having a blast, and I think he spun the controller all the way around. And I'm not sure if, if he popped a screw out of here, but there was a screw missing on my other controller. I don't know if my son popped it out or what happened, but we did lose functionality of the arm being able to push itself straight out. Everything else worked, but we did lose functionality of the arm, the right arm on the other robot, being able to put his arm straight out like that. Um, I did talk to GJS Robot, and they said that you could get a replacement controller on Amazon by itself. You don't have to buy the whole robot. In the beginning, we saw this armor that you have to put on the robot, and the armor took me like an hour and a half or so to put on. It was not that easy to put on the armor. But I just want to show you what the robot looks like once it has all its armor on. So this is the uh, Ganker X robot with all of his armor on. I'm going to turn him on so you can kind of see what it looks like in motion. Oh yeah. Then he goes to battle position. Now the armor has all these little pieces that you clip together and it has these white pieces that you put in so you can still see the light. So he comes with a weapon, he comes with this sword that you have to put together. It's actually like six or, six or seven pieces to put this sword together. And then he also comes with this cool shield so he can block blows from the other opposing robot. So that's about it. I mean, this is the Ganker X Battle Robot. It's available now. Um, it is super cool. I can't believe how cool this thing is. I mean, this is a very high-tech toy, and it is very heavy-duty. The only thing that is, that is fragile is this controller, so I would recommend being very careful when you're using the controller. Um, just be light. Don't, don't try to yank the arms around or be tough with it. I would recommend just being really uh, careful. Um, but that said, these, these robots are made to fight each other, so these two, we're going to get them set up in a minute and we're going to have a little battle.